How can I declare variables in eCockpit? In the editors in eCockpit at the top, we've got the variable declaration. Here are the variables for the function, function block or program listed. If we want to declare new variables, we can do it in this area. So, for example, we can declare a variable, our energy, which is of the type real. Here it is recommended to use Hungarian notation, so have a prefix in front of the variable which already shows you of what type this variable is. So in this case, an R for real, S for string, I for integer and so on. And a descriptive name which shows you this is an energy value. Of course, you can also just use variable names in your program and then the auto declare will help you to declare those variables. So in this example, I will just have another variable, rtemp, which will receive the value of our energy. Here we can see that our energy is already known and our temp gives us the error identifier our temp is not defined. If we now leave this line, we'll get the auto declare window and it will already put in some values. So the name our temp which we just choose and the type it identified as real because our energy is real so this must be real as well. Of course I can set another type here as well, so string, integer, bool, and so on. In the front we can see that we can have a scope which kind of uh, variable this is. Is it a, just an internal variable, var input, var output, and so on. Then we can declare an object. In this case we just have the PLC PRG, so we can just choose this, but if we had others we could also have another object uh, where this variable is defined. Then we can initialize our variable, we can hit these three dots and then for example have the value 42 in here, hit OK and then we would have the initialization of 42 for this variable and an address which is just rarely used now because unlike Codesys 2.3 flag variables are not automatically published via Modbus. Also, we can set if this variable is constant, retain or persistent, I will explain those in a future video. And we can add a comment. If we now hit OK, this variable is being added to our variable declaration. You can see the comment right before the variable and then we can see the variable name, type and its initial value. If we want to edit a variable, we can just mark it and then hit Shift F2 which will bring up the auto declare again. Then we can make changes, for example, set a value here hit OK and then if we submit this it would change the variable accordingly.